Hello, in this video we're going to look at a production function in natural logs and then find the cost minimizing input mix. A firm with a production function given by the following, the natural log of output equals 2 times the natural log of labor plus the natural log of capital wants to minimize the cost of producing 27 units of output. The cost per unit of labor is $40, so, so the wage is $40, and the cost per unit of capital is $20, where R is the rental rate of capital, so R equals 20. We want to find the cost minimizing input mix. So once again, starting with our production function, the first thing we're going to do is calculate the marginal product of labor. We're going to take the partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor and following the rules of taking a derivative of a natural log, we'll get 2 divided by L. So the natural log of L is just 1 over L, and then that's being multiplied by 2. The marginal product of capital is a partial derivative of the production function with respect to K capital. So the derivative of the natural log of K is just 1 over K. Let's form the marginal rate of substitution, defined as the marginal product of labor over the marginal product of capital. So plugging in what we have for the marginal product of labor and marginal product of capital over here. And then simplifying, uh, taking the reciprocal of what's in the denominator, k, and just multiplying it through the numerator, um, we'll get 2k divided by l as the marginal rate of substitution. To find the cost minimizing input mix, we're going to set the marginal rate of substitution equal to the ratio of the input prices, the wage divided by the price of capital. So the marginal rate of substitution we just solved for is 2k divided by L. In the setup of this problem, we said the cost per unit of labor is 40 and the cost per unit of capital is 20. So substituting that into our equation. And now we're going to simplify this. 40 divided by 20 is 2. And then multiplying both sides through by L, we get 2K equals 2L. In other words, K equals L. The next step is I'll plug this result into our production function. So where I see K, I will now plug in L. After all, K equals L. So here's our production function after the substitution. Uh, that will simplify down to the natural log of output equals 3 times the natural log of labor. Following the rules of natural logs, we can just rewrite uh, this next step as follows. Okay, The natural log of labor raised to the power of 3. We want to get rid of the natural log, so we're going to ex exponentiate both sides. Okay, so ex exponentiating both sides. And when we do that, uh, e raised to the natural log of q is just q. e raised to the natural log of l to the third power is just l to the third power. q is 27. Uh, we started this problem saying that the firm wanted to minimize the cost of producing 27 units of output, so making that substitution for q. Put in, putting in 27, and now we want to get rid of this L to the one uh, to the third, so we're going to raise both sides to the one third power. Raising both sides to the one third power, the left hand side is just L now, and 27 to the one third is just three. Since k equals L, as we saw over here, uh, k will also equal three. And that is our cost minimizing input mix. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.